All right, guys, we are at the Adidas booth here at TRE, and we are in the trail running section. We know how we love to run trails here at the Running With James uh, YouTube and podcast. So, checking out these two on the end. This shoe right here has been probably one of my favorite shoes this past year. Um, it's the uh, the Terex Ultra, and this thing right here is it's legit, right? So you got a shoe review coming out on this very very shortly. I already shot the video itself. Just got to edit it and let you guys know how good this shoe is. Um, but they've got it here in a new colorway. It's white. I haven't seen this one, and I feel like a lot of trail people are going out with the white, but for some reason it works, even though it's going to get dirty immediately. But it looks tight. I love it. Um, this is also uh, part of that Terex line as well, the Aggravit Terex. Speed is what it's called. Um, and so basically what this shoe is, is it's the speed day shoe of the racer, right? So for those tempo runs, upper, up tempo runs, those faster mileage, the super, super light. Um, and uh, I'm going to tell you, it's another shoe I've really liked. Um, and you're going to get a shoe review on this. So we're going to go through all the details in and out of this shoe here in just the next few weeks. So. What I wanted to show you guys was some of these new products that are going to be coming out. So we've got the new Terex GT, Agrivix DTX. So basically, what is this? This is an all Gore-Tex shoe, okay? Now, here in Houston, in Texas, you know how we do, guys. We get It gets rainy, it gets wet. So if you are trying to keep that foot dry, this is going to be, I guess, really what you're going to be looking for. It's got that gator on it. Um, now, the Agrivix basically has just the Light Strike, not the Light Strike Pro. Um, so for me, I'm a huge fan of the Light Strike Pro. Light Strike is good. Uh, it's a little stiffer, uh, more of like an EVA style foam. Um, but I think with this shoe, what, you're, what they're really talking about is that, number one, you've got that sweet Gore-Tex on it. But then if you look at these lugs, one of the only downsides for me for the, the Ultra and the Agravit Speed is the lug depth. And so they actually have a four millimeter depth on the inside and a five millimeter lug depth on the outside. It's gonna be the same thing for this Agravit 3. So they've got that four in the middle, five on the outside. That's a much more aggressive uh, lug depth, which, that's what we need when you're out on the trails and you get more more of those kind of more of those gnarly kind of trail sessions. So um, this is going to be more of like your entry level. So this is the Agravic Three, um, and so I think she was telling me around 120, 130 or something like that. So that's a great price entry level. Um, I have worn the version before this and I liked it, um, but in comparison to these, you know, it just doesn't have the same pop and energy. So. These are coming out very shortly. It said first quarter, I believe, is what they were saying of uh, 2025. Um, so new stuff coming. And then they said, and I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but they said there's going to be some new stuff coming out about these. So I'm excited about this. They said it was in the back and it was a secret. So I'm going to see if I can sneak and find out. 